Uh, well, the very public breakdown of the marriage of Joan Grufford and wife Alice Evans uh, continues to, to rumble on. This morning, Alice gave a very emotional interview on Lorraine in which she talked about the moment that husband Joan told her that he no longer loved her and her devastation at finding out that he had moved on via Instagram. I just looked at the picture and it said, um, something like, finally, somebody who can make me happy. And I was just... I was slayed. Yeah. I was slayed. It was, this is my husband, I'm so sorry. I think I was owed more than an Instagram after 20 years of marriage and two children, and it was a little bit cowardly. And there are now moments I realise, looking back, oh, God, when that was said, or when <laughs> I realised that... I'm, I'm pretty sure that this has been going on for quite, quite a while. Well, oh. you'd have to have a heart of stone not to be moved oh. by that, wouldn't you? I mean... Wow. And I you... bet there's so many people watching that, because most people have had their hearts broken at some point, and there is no pain like it, I don't think. It's just horrific. And when, my very first love, when I was a teenager, and we were together a couple of years, it was complete agony. When I look back on how I behaved, it was like a madness. Mm. Like I had... I left everything exactly how it had been when he left the flat. I had, like bottles of milk that I just let go rotten. I had about 60 houseplants that I just let die. I put black bin liners up on the window and just lived in dark. Did you have a lot of cobwebs and a white wedding dress on? <laughs> oh, What's your <laughs> name, Miss Havish? <laughs> well, it was a bit like that. I had a studio <laughs> flat next to my parents' house and they used to come in. They were so amazing, the way they let me just go into that pain. I remember writing a letter to myself. Oh, I would do anything to have that letter now. And it was just this outpouring of... If I... Cos I really didn't believe I was going to survive. I didn't believe that I was going to be here. It hurts, I, doesn't it, actually? It, the pain is yeah. so bad. Mm. Not in a suicidal way or anything like that. I'm not saying that. But the pain was so bad, I didn't think I was going to survive. You know, that young yeah, love. Yeah, yeah. And I wrote this letter to myself, and it said, when, if you can ever, ever open this letter and read it and laugh or not even care, yeah. then you'll be better. But this mm. day will never come. And you know what? It was quite a few years that I would open up uh, yeah. regularly and, and, and the yeah. pain was just unbearable. It's a physical pain. But, but it's it's a, it is, actually, yeah. But you know what? She, she has said that there were signs and actually there were signs yep. too. But I was... Mm. And what made me a bit nervous, again, about this story... But you were a teenager, though. I was a teenager in that love, but, but she says that you she felt think... very smug within her relationship. And it made me think today... Because Mark and I have been married for 20 years. And I would say I'm a bit smug about... Not smug, but, but I'm very confident in my relationship. And I think he loves me and I love him and that's the way it's going to be forever. And I'm sure most people that split up think that. Mm. So it's just... I might go home and tell him how much but I love him. But if someone says they don't love you, <laughs> why yeah. would you... I, I don't think I'd, I'd worry too much. What? Yes, you would. I wouldn't. Because if you I, still love... No, because I think if someone just suddenly said to me, oh, I don't love you anymore, I'd think... All right, I don't love you either. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. If Mark said that really? to you, you'd be well, devastated. No, but there's nothing you can do about it, is there? It's not like it's not like oh, you know, I need some time to myself. It's not you, it's me, or you know, it's not. It's none of that. If someone bluntly says I don't love you anymore, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd even ask why. I would just be like, wow, okay, right. Well, what should we do? Let's let's move really? on. Really, you would switch I'd, to pragmatic because well, I don't want to be with someone who doesn't love me. Yeah, frankly. but you would still be hurt. hurt. So, you know, I, yeah. find, I know people who can be some. I'm not saying it's you, but maybe that is your way of protecting yourself. Of like, just you know what? Let's yeah. just cut this because if you was to really open yourself to feel that devastation, yeah. it's you don't know how if you could come back from it. So. Well, if I had absolutely no, I, I don't know. Maybe, I, like she said, Alice Evans. Yeah. She kind of there were sort of times when she looks back and she thinks this has been going on mm. for a while. Um, but you would pick up on them signs. So that's why I'm not sure with her why it's such a shock. Well, it but would you be... she said she was very, very happy. Yeah. They I were actually happy. don't rule out the possibility that Ian is having an affair. Oh, what? Say, I thought you were going to say that Mark is No, 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 no. He's definitely <laughs> I'm sweating. Um, <laughs> what is going on here, oh, Kay? Not even because... Hey, don't let me go fight my trainers, Kay. Let's go. This <laughs> would really be the moment to do that, wouldn't it? Oh, but Ian, <laughs> hang on. What are you saying? Is he been... <laughs> Because I don't think you can. Has he you suddenly know, got a fake tan and shaved his head? No, leg? no, he hasn't. You know, <laughs> I, I, I love Ian, we're happy, I hope that he loves me, but I don't think you can no. ever completely rule it out. Because out I think... Someone. I'm not accusing anyone of being smug, because I 
To, you've been together mm. a long time. Mm. I can't even remember how long we've been together. Safe. So I'm not saying Make it's you feel top of my agenda, yeah. but I just... I don't rule it out. The one thing that I thought that when she said <laughs> she it felt out. it was cowardly of, mm. of him to put something on Instagram, and I'm not going to, I'm not trying to be a judge on that, but is it always going to be messy after 20 years yeah. of two kids? Mm. Yeah. Is it just always going to? She be messy? announced, of course, she announced that he was leaving on it on Twitter though. So that's yeah, you know, it's one half a dozen the other, isn't it? I personally don't even think that's the way to go social media. But I think for me, heartbreak, uh, any heartbreak I've had, the heartbreak for me has been the deception and the lies and the fact that I didn't trust myself enough when I had that instinct and my guts was telling me something wasn't right. So the heartbreak for me has always been that I've given someone this precious time, my precious time, my precious body, my mm. precious energy, when I knew there was something saying to me this person wasn't worthy. If it's a different situation where it's someone who I, you know, I really love and I felt like everything was great, I'd definitely be heartbroken, but I always believe in going through the pain. So yeah. I would, I, yeah. any situation, I've gone through the pain, birthed the pain, gone through it and seen what I've learned through it. And what, birthed the pain. Yeah, I think what I've I learned from that. my previous experiences is that I need to trust my, my gut and my instinct. And it's the, for me, it's more about not losing the person, it's the deception. Like, yeah. if you've done what you've done, I've always say this, anybody out there that wants to date me, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> Come and talk to me. If you see this woman and you think she's nice, you better come and say to me, Jude, I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> There's an attraction to this other woman. Yeah. Give me the choice yeah, to say... People don't do yeah, that give me the no, choice to say... Honestly, it's don't always, do it. well, it's the don't do, my, my gut's always yeah. good. I always know, trust me. But you know what? I think, I think also, you should be honest with I think, people. Be I, honest and yeah. give people... The, you know what it is? Sorry to get in there. No, go on, what it is, the heartache comes from not having the choice. Mm. You broke yeah. my heart. But, but you didn't give me the choice. Yeah. Say to me, so me I can, can I be me honest with you? Can I be honest with you? We're only on air for an hour, so we better oh, hurry up. Oh, okay. no, this is 